Hello and welcome back to Ramble SMP Season 2 Episode 2. We're starting in the attic or the loft or whatever this place is called. I don't know. <laughs> and some stuff has happened in between now and then. Love what you have done with the place. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm now going to take down the sign and use it on this chest right there. All right. But I have actually been on in between recordings and um, guess what? My storage was not like this when I last left it. I think I can I can only think of one person, but to be honest, a lot of people can be to blame. So um, yeah, but I think I know who it is. And look at that. He says binary. My egg is being set up, and that is correct. In the last episode, he gave me this egg right here, binary's conscience, and he has actually developed a full-on mini game with this. So I need to go ahead and actually go and read some rules and stuff like that. So yeah, that. That ah, hey, what? Eh? Someone has rigged my house. What is this? Excuse me. Ow. Where? Oh, there you are, you little stinker. That's not... Wow. Okay, no. Got it. <sighs> wow, okay. I see how it is. <laughs> but before we go ahead and check out his little egg game, which... Uh, so excited, so excited. Um, I have been doing some resource gathering. Firstly, I've chopped down a bunch of trees. And secondly, British Widow and I... Hold up. <laughs> and the virus making moves, it would seem. <laughs> but as I was saying, um, British Widow and I actually went on a little mining session together, and this is the result of it. Look at this. Now, I do have to give him credit because he did have a Fortune 3 pickaxe. Um, so we each got 40, 40 diamonds, which is, which is really, really awesome. And we got a bunch of other resources as well. Plus, I got all the cobble deep slater stuff, which we're going to be using to upgrade the house today as well. So I need to sort that stuff out. I may want to relocate this farm as well, because in this episode I want to lay out the paths, or at least the main path, for our village here in this episode. And that's a wild bee. You, I think, I think you're quite a long way from home, buddy. <laughs> but I will get back to this very, very soon. Firstly... I want to go ahead and, um, yeah, go ahead and check out this egg game thing. Also, Chemistic has come on, and this is his first starter house over there. All right, so this egg place should be somewhere at spawn. And what's that? Who's... Wait, 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 who's that? Okay, wait, that... We, we need to take a look at some places. That's not my egg. I can throw it. Okay, mine is still there. <laughs> and here we are. Oh, oh, wow, okay. Um, wait, is this all of it? Nope, that that's something else. Okay, th we, okay, that's a lot here. Okay, I think I think this is the egg thing. Okay, hold on. Please grab your egg and book. Make sure to read the rules. Um, what is this? Binary egg. Okay, and fast egg. Okay, so basically, I already have my egg. So this is my book right here. Welcome to Exolator. <laughs> Wait, no. Excelsior. Excelsior. All right. Your egg is below your book. Please grab the right book. Do not take someone else's book. Thank you. Binary and Endivar, you already have your egg, so take your books on the end. Have fun, everyone. All right. Binary's egg. Let's see here. Six pages. Okay. Your egg is your conscience. Lose your egg or break it. Your conscience is now broken. Time to go insane for a little while. Better not break that egg. Okay, here, here we go. You can hide your egg anywhere in your base, okay? It has to be in an item frame, right? It must be visible and accessible, so no hiding it underground in a one by one area. So hide it well, or even create a puzzle or challenge for your egg. Ooh! For if you are to capture somebody else's egg, you must destroy it in front of that player. If you do not, you will suffer that consequence as well as your own. <laughs> oh no. So choose your moment carefully. Once you have your egg, you will have up to one week to hide it. Best of all, have fun and be creative. I suggest not recording where you hide your egg because we don't want spoilers. Unless you're creating a puzzle, of course. Just don't reveal how to do it. Oh, binary consequence. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that 
That was just the rules. Binary consequence. If your egg breaks, you must kill anyone you see for an entire episode. However, if you fail to kill a single person, you have to burn one diamond every day for the rest of the <laughs> No, that's not fair. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. Alright. Little incentive for you. Okay. Well, it is today is Wednesday. Um so I have till next Wednesday for me. Um to get to get this egg hidden. <sighs> okay, right. That's um that's something. Why are there so many bats here? All right, what do we got here? Bell hunt. I think I'm gonna. You good, buddy? <laughs> well, I'm just gonna leave him there. I don't actually know how to do this yet, so I'll leave that be until I know more. Uh, but let's go back home now. Wait, actually, I want to see. I want to see the house over here. What? What? What is that? One thing is the house I saw. That's just a sheep farm. Who is who is that? Who who is this? Who who is this? Who has such a magnificent tower and I have a basic Minecraft 101? Uh, who this? I, I I don't know who who that is. I don't know who I don't know who this. Is. <laughs> and look at Endavar with his. Airships and stuff. Also, because he used to have an enchantment table here, there's no more one, so I'm assuming Lapis says enchantment area. And I almost have 30 levels, and I do not have enough bookshelves for a level 30 enchanter yet. Well, I guess that's gonna be a me problem, at least until I find a way to get up there. Right, I think first things first, I'm going to transfer the materials that I have here inside the house. Um, because I want that chest gone and I want to move that farm as well. Same with the sugar cane. And I think we're gonna chop down the trees and move them somewhere else because they're gonna be a little bit in the way. <sighs> look at this. Look, look at this. Guys, please, in the comments, prank ideas. I need to prevent, get revenge on these people. <laughs> I don't know what to do in terms of this stuff. Help. I actually, I just realized I need to actually smelt a bunch of stuff. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna start by turning all my redstone into blocks. Or what I can in a way. There we go. Alright. Yeah, that's a lot of iron. Um, hold on. Gonna make this and do that. And I also need an output chest. Chest and hopper. Floor. There we go. Beautiful. Semi-automated smelting system installed. Even more automated auto smelting system thingy. Even further installed. Haha. -ha. I might as well do this. Because otherwise it's gonna run out of fuel. <laughs> this setup is mainly important just for when I have this amount of resources at once. Um yeah, that's gonna be helpful. Alright, cool. All right, first things first, I am going to harvest this wheat farm and actually completely demolish it or remove the water and then demolish it. Wheat farm has been harvested and water has been drained. Perfect. This should eventually just die on its own. And the sugar cane, just like so. Who's that? That's that. Hold on, hold on. I saw a wild chicken around here. Where's she at? Where's the wild chicken? I saw a wild chicken. I think I see a what? Hold on, since when did a chicken get out of Dime Adama? <laughs> oh man, I was uh, I was not trying to steal your horse. It, excuse me? I was gonna steal Penelope. It it doesn't have a name. <laughs> Still doesn't have <laughs> a name I'm yet. I'm gonna call it Penelope. <laughs> it's not being called that. <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Hey, nice. bye. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> Get back My here. Horse now. <laughs> All right. Some time has passed now. British Widow stopped by. Um, and he. Oh. Okay, he returned it. Okay, cool. British Widow stopped by. We looked at some stuff, and he also gave me some tips on my. Uh... I left you your horse. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 
see ya. Bye. Bye. I thought I heard someone. Ow. But yeah, he gave me some tips for my roof and whatnot. So I think actually, uh, before we do anything else really, I am going to improve my house. I'm going to make it look a lot better. And that is what we will be starting with. Also, we have so far spelled it pretty much four stacks of iron ingots, which is really, really cool. But anyways, let's hop into a time lapse and let's improve at least the outside of this house. Let's go. Wow, there's a nice build. Yeah. <laughs> That's end of our in a nutshell. It's like a spaceship, but not spacey. Yeah, I I, I logged into that and uh, I was like, well, okay. That makes my house look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> so you're literally just on the other side of the mountain as me. Yeah, where are you at? Because I believe I'm like right, 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 way over that way. But oh, nice. I mean, uh, have you seen my build? I mean, yours is way better than mine right now. That I haven't seen yours. Where? Where's your base? Take me there. Take me. Oh, okay. You must take I'll me. I'll take you. <laughs> 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 oh, only one more day, and then I can finally use something other than my pick. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a challenge, aren't you? <laughs> yep. To totally on purpose. I, I meant to do the challenge. It was by uh -huh. choice. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure. I believe you. <laughs> so right there. There it is. Oh, nice. Oh, I love yeah, the crane. I love the crane. <laughs> it's literally it. <laughs> I mean, I, I do have a bridge it. right now, too, but... I mean, my, that... my production on things has stopped because of pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, I, like the, I like the crane. I like the crane idea, though. I do like the crane idea. Well, thank idea. you. Yeah, I, I think it looks pretty nice. And, and then I'm I'm thinking I'm going to put, like, more cranes everywhere else. Yeah. Uh, holding up different things. Yeah. Uh, like a house. Mmm. Oh, I've... But I haven't 100% decided yet. I, I have my bridge game on. Yes. I think I have the most bridges on the server. I don't... I can't confirm that, but... <laughs> yeah, I, th I, think, I think as well. I think you're winning on this one. I'm winning. <laughs> That's what we're supposed to be doing on this. This is... Bridgecraft, yes. right? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Bridgecraft season two. <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Cool meeting. Oh you. yeah, thank you for stopping by, and thanks yeah. for helping me kill another day. Only yes. one more day left. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Oh, it's only midday now. <laughs> uh, you gotta make a fishing rod and then just fish it away. Fish it away. Oh, I don't. I don't think I can use that. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Isn't that oh. a, a tool? <laughs> I guess that's a tool. Okay. <laughs> I can make a fishing rod and throw it in there, and hopefully something bites the fishing rod itself. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that how fishing works? Well, it's slowly, slowly setting. It's slowly, hey. but surely, pixel by pixel. <laughs> I'm not helping, am I? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> But maybe that's just what I'll do. I'll just spend the rest of the day just staring at the staring sun. Staring at like, the sun. Come on. <laughs> hurry up. Now as we watch the sunset behind us in these fancy shaders, we will see the luminescent of the orange and blue turning into what will become night. And this episode will end on a high note of all the light being put down. That doesn't sound like a high note. That sounds like a bad note. Uh, <laughs> where things sleep, and everybody knows that sleep is where all of rest and relaxation comes from. For there will be no more picks in our future. It will all be shovels. And I will throw this pick. And I will actually keep the pick because it's a useful pick. But, but I will metaphorically throw it away out of my mind <laughs> and out of my soul. Yes. 
And with that, that felt good. That felt yeah. like oh, really good. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I think you can sleep now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> the curse has been lifted. <laughs> <laughs> now you can go and chop your trees. <laughs> I'm gonna hold something just because I can. <laughs> yes, <laughs> feels so good. So it turns out, Kit is actually not that far away. That's his mountain over there, and my mountain should be. Okay, we are a little ways away, but Chemistic's place is actually over there, and then my place is in that direction. So we're not we're not too far away. It's gonna be very cool when we get roads and stuff going to each other's spaces. It's gonna be cool. With that done and set though, and after Kit's visit, the house I think is at a pretty good place. It's looking, I'd say it's looking better than it did before, that's for sure. I don't know about the composters up there, do let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, but I think I like it. And I like this porch as well. Um, did I finish it down there? Oh yeah, I did. Alright, cool. And it definitely helped removing the cobblestone here and replacing it with deep slate as well. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna chop down these trees, and then we need to lay out where the roads actually are going to go. And then, I know Super Turtle has made a skeleton farm, and I would love to get my stuff upgraded to diamond and get it all uh, enchanted to level 30. And I know that Endavar has an enchanter in that balloon right there. So I think that is what we're going to do. But let's begin chopping down these trees. And I think I'll also uh, remove this puzzle and replace it with double dirt. Because I don't want this here actually. Um, so maybe we will have to plant trees somewhere over there or something. I don't know. But anyways, tree chopping down project is a go. Let's begin. All right, this place is looking much better now without the huge trees. I think we will be moving them probably back there and I'll probably set up a proper farm or at least a fenced area or something like that for them. And hopefully we will then be able to maybe farm some of the puzzle. Is it called puzzle? I believe it's called puzzle. Now in this time we're still spelting, but look at this. We're getting so many smelted ingots. It is awesome. I also need to figure out if I can maybe sell something. Actually, that's something. I have a lot of spruce wood. Like here alone, I have five stacks of spruce logs. I don't know if I should start selling some of this because I'm getting a lot and I'm probably going to get even more because it takes like, what, 10 minutes to chop down like five of those, those big trees, especially when I get like efficiency four on my diamond axe. So maybe I should set up a little bit of a chest somewhere selling some spruce logs. I think it's pretty early in the game for anyone to start a farm like this, so I think I can probably pull it off with just a little bit of inventory. I also have a bunch of deep slate here actually still, and I will be doing more mining sessions. So that is a possibility as well. I really do need a better place to do this, but for now I think this will have to do. So if I set up a chest like right here maybe, like so, put them in like that, and then put a sign on top of it. There we go. White dye and then glowing sack. Oh, that looks good. That actually looks good. All right, get 64 spruce logs, four two diamonds. We'll see if it. We'll see if it sells. Um, you know what? I'll set up some deep deep slate as well. I don't think I need that much. Plus, I could go down mining for some. So you know what? While we have this set up and ready to go, let's set up another one because I think deep slate is something that is really going to sell. And because it is like so annoying to get and slow to mine. I think I can get away with maybe, I forgot a sign. I think I can get away with maybe two diamonds as well. I have glow ink sack as well actually I could sell. This is turning out to be a little bit of a store. <laughs> I didn't think we would be making a shop today but yet here we are. Right, if we are indeed making a shop, which let's face it, we are. I think I'm gonna make it move it a little bit over actually. All right, here we have it. Get 64 spruce logs for two diamonds. Get 64 deep slate for two diamonds and get four glowing sacks for one diamond. I hope these are some okay acceptable prices. And then if I just go ahead and, I don't know, 
make something pop up. Boom. Eh? Eh? Okay, you know what? It's not my greatest creation ever, but you know what? It will <laughs> It will do. Hold up. We we need a sign here though. We need a sign up there. I actually don't know what to call this thing. What what is this thing? What is this kind of thing called? What what's it called? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. What's it called? Someone help. I'm just going to go in and call it binary stuffs because yeah. That's what it is right now. <laughs> It is literally my stuff for sale. Some of it anyway. I feel like we need cyan dye for the sign in order to make it glow properly. And our furnace is completely done smelting stuff. So now we can actually take all of this and turn it into blocks so it can actually fit in our valuables chest. Boom, boom, and boom. Look at that. 42 blocks of iron, 11 blocks of gold, and 40 blocks of copper very very nice and we will be making stuff with the diamonds very soon in this episode but for now i need at uh, first i need uh, i need a color boom and boom yes that's good that's very good and take a screenshot of that all right then with the shop now built i think it is time to upgrade our armor and tools to be completely full Diamond and then super turtle has actually set up a skeleton farm Which I'm gonna go ahead and borrow to get up to a decent amount of levels and then I can enchant my stuff as well Now I won't be able to get all the enchantments that I want But I will at least be able to get some of the enchantments I want so why don't we start off with some diamond armor first of all We're down to 17 diamonds <laughs> All right, uh, I already have a diamond axe I already have a diamond pickaxe really so I guess a diamond sword and a diamond shovel is gonna work. I don't really know what else I need. I feel like I'm missing something though, but I don't think I am. I think that is actually it. Then I will spare these 14 diamonds. And actually it has been like 12 hours or so uh, since setting up this shop. And let's let's just take a look here. So let's start out. Oh. <laughs> well, it has been 12 hours and we have made eight diamonds. Um, okay, that's cool. Uh, Deep Slates and Glowing Sacks has not been sold yet, but that's a pretty good diamonds right there. I, I have a slight feeling that this thing is actually going to become quite profitable. My challenge is going to be keeping it stock, I think. So that's eight more diamonds to the collection. So we now have 22. Awesome. Now the farm Super Turtle made is actually in this direction. These berries are definitely going to come in handy because I have run out of food. That is something... That's an issue that we do need to address very soon as well, probably in the next episode, because yeah, I, I don't have a really, I, I actually don't have a food source. <laughs> there it is. I see it. All right. Oh, that is looking good. This is looking good. Oh, we have glass here. Perfect. Okay, so that's the way up. Is there anything else secret hidden? No. All right, I really like the skull. Now, I don't know what that monstrosity is, but I'm just going to leave that be. And, uh, yeah. This better not kill me. If it does, you owe me. <laughs> All right, good. Right. Yep, pretty simple stuff. All right, I'm going to sit here and get my levels up quite a lot. And uh, I'll see you when that is done. All right. I have spent a while down here in the skeleton farm and I finally have 54 levels which should be enough to enchant all of my armor and all my diamond tools with level 30 enchantments once and that I also have been collecting well a bunch of arrows but also a bunch of bows which I don't know if I need to keep all of these. I think these are the bows that I'm going to keep and then we have a bunch of bones that I'm gonna take some of them as well as some of the arrows as well just like that and I will have to say thank you Super Turtle for allowing me to use your farm. I may have to compensate you in one way or another. I don't know who that is. Huh. I think I'm gonna go head home as fast as possible. I'm gonna borrow Endavar's um, enchantment balloon. Should I be concerned here at Chemistic's house? Chemistic, do I need to be concerned? Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Oh, what do we have here? What's this? British, we British Widow stuffs. One diamond per step. Okay, I, I, th okay, the shop is completely sold out, and now he is. That's not fair. 
That's this is not that's not fair. This is not fair, but we have made twenty-five diamonds. Um until I find out what this is. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna block it up. Innocent stack of cobblestone. Yep, that's all that is. I need to do more resource collecting of ink sacks and everything else as well. Uh, but for now, I need to go and enchant some stuff. I'm actually going to go ahead and make a new pickaxe for me to enchant. I'm also going to obviously take all my lapis lazuli and we are going to go over there. End of our... You have a lot of cows. <laughs> ah, here's the entrance. I think. Oh. 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 End of our... You're a madman. But what else is new? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, end of our... I'm gonna use this and... Um, yeah, I'll compensate you, alright? Don't worry. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Unbreaking 3. I really want to make sure that I get fortune on it. Unbreaking 3 for a diamond shovel, and of course I get fortune 3 on that. It's good. I don't know what on earth I can use fortune for on a shovel, but that's fine. The sword, I do not care about smite. Unbreaking is the main thing. Unbreaking and efficiency 4, that's perfect. Protection 3. Unbreaking 3. Protection 3. I could wait with enchanting this until I get netherite, but no. Unbreaking 3, protection 3. Alright, that's good. Fire protection 4. I would like to just have protection 4. Perfect. That's literally perfect, like right there. What else do we got? Aqua affinity. That could be useful. Mm, I've already enchanted that. Efficiency 4. Right. And this. Sharpness 3. Eh. Aqua affinity. Only Aqua Affinity? That's... that sucks. <laughs> Death Strider 3 is gonna be... Uh, only Death Strider 3? Wow. I do have three goes here, because if I use another, that's 3, that's 30, 30, 33, and then 30. Aha! I'm pretty happy with Death Strider. I think I'm gonna redo Aqua Affinity. So... Uh, that's Fire Protection. Efficiency. That didn't help. I'm just gonna have to go for it. Efficiency 4. Yes, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, Fortune 2. I'm happy with that. Unbreaking 3, let's go. Blast Protection 4, you know what, that's fine. And then Unbreaking 3, literally just Unbreaking 3. All right, that will have to do for now. Um, I will use my own anvil, just so I don't use up end of us. <laughs> Would feel kind of bad for, about that. And we will combine all these bows to get a decent bow. All right, iron, like so. And we have an anvil. Perfect. Place that down. All right. I should be able to get a pretty good bow out of this. Getting power 3 infinity, unbreaking 2 and punch 1 for 14. And I won't be able to do much more other than that. Because the next tier is 11. But that's alright. That's alright. Okay, what I think I will do now, I will pop off camera and then I'll get an overview picture here. Using replay mod to kind of be able to draw out our roads and stuff. And then we can afterwards go ahead and plan out the roads using torches after I've made a little bit of drawing. All right, so I think I have a little bit of an idea. I will show on the screen right now my uh, my kind of plans, I guess you could call it. <laughs> it's not the perfect, it's not the most perfect thing, but it gets the job done. But yeah, I am envisioning a big road. The red line is basically the big road, and then the yellow is smaller paths to different areas. And then the blue boxes is places where I know stuff will be at this point in time. So obviously we have my house. Then I have plans with Entavar and Chemistic to make a bridge uh, between our bases. And then we have the mine, which I do want to make. Um, and the rest is pretty much free space. And I don't know if I want to keep the shop there or not just yet, because I feel like I want, may want to make like a marketplace near the portal area. So I think that is something that I want to do. But I'm envisioning a road like kind of going down here. So I don't know how big the main road should be. I feel like five blocks is a little bit too small, but six might be too big. So I think I'll go with five blocks as the big road and then smaller roads will then become either two blocks or three, depending on where it leads to. If it leads to the fortress, then it should be a three, but if it's maybe just my house, just the two will do fine. So I think I'm just gonna place, like I guess, road markers here and there to kind of follow the plan. Now, of course, any of this can change later on. This is not at all 
set in stone. And then I don't really know what to do here, so I'm just gonna mark it going in that direction is because I think Kevin Sig and I will then probably join our roads like around here or something. But I think that works as a plan for now. And I guess we can leave small road indicators in between the big ones here to kind of further shape the future of the road. And I do want it to like have a have a shape to it. So I will not mind having to snake it around here and there. Now in terms of actual road design, I don't actually know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm thinking a mix of gravel, cobblestone, and the site, that kind of stuff to make like a really nice looking road. And who knows, no, no one really lives in this area with the trees, so we might even incorporate this for the buildings as well if we feel like this is not enough space. But I feel like if the road comes up here, having like a little marketplace right here on this portal slot, I feel like that would be good. And you know what? I think that is something that we will begin in the next episode because clearly I'm selling out over there. So I think I need to set up a proper shop area. Just a small marketplace with small booths. Oh, I, I love this. I love this idea. What I do think though, just before we end the episode, I think it's time that I make a proper path up to my house because this is a lot of jumping. So I'll see you when that is done. All right, I'm not super happy with the path, but you know what? It works. I can run all the way up to my house and I think the lanterns kind of spruce it up a bit. Now, there is one final thing that I have not done yet and that is to hide my egg. I gotta hide my egg before a couple of days in real life, but I'm not gonna do it on camera because that could potentially spoil stuff. So I'll show it in the next episode. <laughs> In the meantime, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps me out a ton. But yeah, with that said, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in episode 3 where we will be setting up the marketplace, maybe doing some road stuff and building the mineshaft. I think that is a good plan. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.